What's up, Crypto Crew, and welcome back, or if this is your first time, I'm Captain Crypto Might, actively escaping the Matrix, scoping out the crypto oceans. If you like your odds, get on the boat, stay up to date, thumbs up, and join the hunt. Into the boat! Crypto Crew, I've stated at infinitum, Caspa isn't just revolutionary, it's truly evolutionary. Caspa is a project that's not just faster or cheaper than some of your favorite, most well-known crypto projects. And today you will hear why, but from a developer's point of view, and how this is linked to migration from Ethereum and Solana. Stay tuned, Crypto Crew. Time to find out. Prove all things, hold fast, that which is good. Before we dive into today's vid, quick reminder to keep your Casper coins, bitcoins, and crypto investments safe. In our opinion, Tangem is the best way for you to do that. Right now, you can grab 20% off your Tangem wallet plus $10 in Bitcoin. Just enter in the codes NYEXTRA26 and Crypto Crew with the link in the description box below. Thanks so much for your consideration and support in advance, and may the Lord Jesus Christ bless you all. Can you tell me why big projects, needle moving projects on Ethereum, Solana, where all the liquidity is, why would they pivot to any chain where liquidity doesn't even compete? It's not about slightly faster, cheaper, better anymore. Spectacular point. It's not about slightly faster, better, cheaper anymore. I don't think these metrics is what will make Caspa successful. In his observation, why would these big projects migrate to Caspa is a valid one. But what he has to understand is that this is a misconception. Caspa will not be successful because Ethereum applications will migrate to it. No. Caspa's success is the fact that it enables a new category of Web3 applications to be born because that new category could not operate on the old infrastructure. Mobile apps are not a migration from desktop apps. The mobile phone enable a whole new type of applications in the first place. Same with Ethereum. Ethereum did not steal stocks from the New York Stock Exchange, right? It did not steal financial activity from the New York Stock Exchange. Ethereum enabled a whole new category of finance, mainly DeFi. Same thing with mobile experience. Enable a whole new category of application, mainly interactive first. It's the same with Casper. Casper doesn't need to steal applications from Ethereum or Bitcoin because it, it enables a new category of apps to be born. Apps like Cityscape, because Cityscape is sending a bunch of small events from the real world to Casper, as opposed to like Ethereum. If Cityscape were to do that to Ethereum, Ethereum is better suited for few high value transactions as opposed to caspa it could handle a ton of continuous small events much better suited for what i'm doing with cityscape the second point is it will take a developer evangelist and a flagship application for people to see that caspa is the infrastructure to go to caspa is enabling a whole new category of apps to be born to operate because these new categories could not operate on the old infrastructure. Ethereum cannot support what I'm doing. Second, developer evangelists like myself who want to make money consulting will make onboarding the infrastructure much easier and put the word out there for other build builders to come to the platform. And three, you need a flagship application, an application that everyone is using in a mainstream. And at some point, people will get curious about what's the infrastructure behind the application. Like I said, my scouts, my explorers using Cityscape right now have no idea that there is a connection to cast, but they're just exploring in a real world and having fun. So according to James Allen, who is a developer, Caspa success isn't about migration. Developers pivoting from projects such as Ethereum or Solana, where the liquidity currently lives. Unlike those projects, Caspa is built for high frequency, low value transactions. Think tons of tiny continuous events from the real world, just like James Allen's project City Escape. On Ethereum, your fees would explode. And let's not even talk about Solana's shaky network. Caspa, on the other hand, Hand, would handle this smoothly like it's made for physical event driven stuff and this opens the doors to apps we haven't even dreamed of yet cast needs at least one killer application everyone uses before people care about the tech behind it once it goes mainstream people start asking what's under the hood that's where and when casper will shine apps first infrastructure second that's the playbook when it comes to adopting new users to the caspa ecosystem caspa doesn't need to steal from ethereum or solana they wouldn't be able to run these new apps anyway what caspa brings is real world innovation not hype 
Solana is fast and fairly cheap. Ethereum is great for big, high-value trades, but Caspas for the future continues everyday peer-to-peer -peer usage. So this provides you motivation, or rather, Caspa Core Devs motivation, to accelerate the block rate from 10 blocks per second to 100 blocks per second. And while this will not increase any human notable UX, you won't be able to discern between 100 milliseconds and 10 millisecond confirmation time. You will be able to safely finalize this bridge or finalize this attestation or get to a verdict regarding this attestation within one internet round trip time. So in real time, you can verify or finalize this attestation. And again, we're talking not about cryptographically verifying something with math. It's counting the majority, operating on the basis of the honest majority assumption. And the only game here is how fast can you sample the majority? And the the surprising thing is for a real-time sampling of the majority in a way that it cannot be manipulated, you have to use proof of work. Now picture this, you're cruising on Caspa Speedy Block Dag Highway, but to add those fancy smart contract exits without causing a traffic jam, you need some clever engineering. Buckle up as Caspa Core Dev Mike Zach breaks down a ton notes, how they differ from Igra's full-blown L2 setups, and the overall architecture that's making decentralized apps a reality on Caspa. Shout out Ankit and the XXIM podcast. A ton nodes are really a layer one thing. It's nothing yes. to do with Igra nodes. Yeah, to be precise, a ton is a component of the Igra node. It's just data availability. It's It has nothing to do with running smart contracts. It will be run first and foremost by uh, Igra attesters and other L2 level attesters that uh, need uh, the whole state and the whole uh, history proof to be able to get the correct uh, L2 state. Uh, second of all, it will be run by anybody who needs to keep history if you want to run a blog explorer uh, you you can use an atan instead of uh, having a fully full archival node and if your legal department uh, needs to see all your transactions then uh, you will run an atan or you will pay somebody running an atan to give you this proof and finally any enthusiasts uh, that uh, just want to keep history on their computer to be able to see what went on in in Caspa four years ago, they all can run an Atan and, and have this. So the end uh, result of this structure is the L2 state, a, a list of uh, L2 accounts and how much money everybody has, how much tokens everybody has, all, all this stuff. And this is the thing on which the attesters put their signature on. So the attesters run this whole big structure, they get a state in a point of time and they attest for the validity of this state. We, first of all, have a Caspa D, a Rusty Caspa node that keeps the real-time data and the live data and provides it. And so it's we the have official, a official full node, right? Yes, yes. Uh, we didn't make any changes to the full node. We did a few changes to enable a tons. But the, the consensus module remains exactly the same. You uh, Once we are live, you will be able to take the, the official Rusty Casper node, turn it on, and, and it should uh, work the same way. Atan is there to keep historical data. You probably know that Casper D uh, prunes data very aggressively. So in order to get the data before the pruning point, we will need to get the Atan. This to talk to a certain bridge that takes the Casper transactions, locks in the payload field of the Casper transactions, which actually has the smart contract code, passes this to a smart contract virtual machine. In our case, uh, it's going to be an Ethereum virtual machine. In uh, the future, we plan to add support for other virtual machines such as Solana, etc. And this virtual machine outputs the state, which then the attesters are going to attest for. This is uh, the structure, and it's important to understand that Atan is just a data provider. It has nothing to do with process of uh, running smart contracts. 
In a nutshell, Crypto Crew, these advancements supercharge Caspa as a rock-solid Layer 1 foundation. Think faster, more scalable tech with ZK proofs and bridges rolling out this year, 2026, while nurturing a buzzing ecosystem with L2s like IGRA hitting test nets and attracting big investments. It will mean broader adoption, innovative dApps, and Caspa evolving into a true crypto powerhouse without losing its decentralization. These are truly exciting times, Crypto Crew. I guess you guys aren't ready for that yet. By the way, if you're looking for a pro Caspa exchange, check out Blowfin, which offers rock-solid security, no downtime, and zero KYC hassle. Right now, Blowfin is dropping fat bonuses for our community, even if you're already with Blowfin. So don't miss out. Hit the link in the description box below. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Stick around. Fix your mind before you get to the ground. And with that said, let's continue to escape the matrix. Let's continue to be on the lookout for the next big thing here on the crypto ocean. Grow in grace and let's make some crypto waves. Say I.